Now the Kaduna State Government has reiterated its commitment to promote and peaceful coexistence, harmonious relationship, and mutual understanding among Christian, Muslim, and diverse ethnic groups across the state. The governor, Oba Sani, stated this at the inauguration of a state inter-religious harmony committee which seeks religious tolerance and peace. The governor said there cannot be sustainable peace and security when 80% of the citizenry in rural areas are living in abject poverty. If those of us sitting here believe there will never be any this crisis in Kaduna, it will not happen. Not to happen. It is we sitting here to agree that Kaduna will make peace. For religious leaders, I keep. They will preach. They will communicate to our people. Only in churches and mosques that people will preach, people will come there on their own. Therefore, you have better avenue to communicate message than any other politician. So if you agree that we are going to live in peace, we live in peace. For us as government, we will be fair to everyone. We will treat everyone equally. We will be just everyone. Also, the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Ken Kaduna State Chapter, Reverend Joseph Hayab, says political leaders must learn to listen to their followers at all times, stressing the need for government to collaborate with both religious leaders to achieve the desired peace. The governor appealed to both religious leaders against the hate speech and the cease from inciting one another. It's natural that when leadership ceases to be collaborative and competitive, everybody stay and watch. Unless people know the truth and stand for the truth, the liars will continue to eat food and be getting fat thinking that they are representing us. They are not representing us. And I can assure you, sir, we can change the story of this town in a twinkle of an eye. Show a difference in Kaduna State if the door is open. And we can assure you that those who are lying using God's name, the business is open. People within us who are demons, that what the leaders have is inform them about some things, we need to order and identify those who are exposed them. That is the only way forward. Because without peace, there can never be development in our state. Without peace, we cannot achieve anything in our state. And I'm calling on all of us to peace. And like I want to say, politics is over. Representing 10 million people of the United States. Well, yeah. So we should always preach harmony, preach peace, and preach togetherness. That is the most important thing. So for me to make sure that I take development to every part of the United States, let us put a good budget for me or not. That is what we did when we take that off. So I think that is the most important message. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.